40 is not where it ended. So from job to job, how did it work? Was it mostly like a contact, like somebody brought you on over onto another project from Rick and Morty? Or did you do more tests for other shows? Like, how did it work? Um, I think after Rick and Morty, I did do a Randy Cunningham test. That was my second job. Um, and and uh, Alexis Block, the same girl that like got me the Rick and Morty job posting, mm-hmm. um, was now working at Randy Cunningham. So she also wow. helped me with that. Oh, cool. um, but then after that, I don't know if I had to do any more tests. I feel like I feel like once you're in the industry, you're kind of in, yeah. and you it's it's sort of easy to get. Because people work with there. you, they like who you are. Yeah, you you, yeah. Make, you make even more connections. So like, if they're like, oh, you 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 you're looking for work. Like, I know this, I know that. Like, look over here, and I'll tell them about you or whatever. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I, I've had really good luck in terms of um, not having to test in a long time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. That yeah. tends to happen. <laughs> so what what order did it go in after Rick and Morty season one was Randy Cunningham? So yeah, it was Rick and Morty season one, then Randy Cunningham, then Rick and Morty season two, then um, uh, uh, Comedy Central pilot, and then BoJack Horseman uh, one episode of season two. Oh. Um, yeah, the finale. Oh. I was just pulled onto that to help. Um, and then after that was... Uh, DreamWorks TV for the Crudes, um, and then it was. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. No, no. Then it was Disney Future Worm, and then it was Rick and Morty season three. Cool. And now I'm at Tip Mouse on uh, Little Big Awesome with Brian. Uh-huh. Uh, comes full Can circle. I say something like just really funny? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when uh, I came on to season two of Rick and Morty. Um, I came on a little bit, I don't, it was kind of like a little bit after the beginning of the season, like people were still working. Um, and I remember when I was given a little tour around the studio, Erica was the only female artist. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yay, another female artist on the show. I'm not the oh only one. Season two, there's, yeah. There's one on I remember that specifically. On season one, right. outside of the colorist, she was the only like female artist on the crew. Yeah, and yeah, this was before Carol. color came on too yeah, on season two. There are more yeah. female artists, by the way, on season two. Yeah, yeah. Once you, get to yeah. Yeah, once you got to color, season three happened. We had we had tons we of female, female yeah. artists. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I just wanted to say that, and then I thought that was amazing. I was like, which, oh, okay, <laughs> which is super important. Yeah, you're right. You're, and you're I just, absolutely right. I just thought of something. Uh, I've been on since the pilot. Erica's been on since season one. You've been on since season two, and Anne came on in season, season three. three. Yeah. Oh, oh you're next. Season, next. <laughs> season four, next. <Nick's> <laughs> we need to get him on in production. Cool. Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. So before I know, we're getting close to like asking some audience questions, some Twitter, Tumblr questions. Sure. But before we do that, a couple quick things. First, should I do the intro again, or are we good to go? Oh, great. Oh, there we yeah, go. let's go. Okay. So there was an intro, and then there was about 45 seconds to a minute of awkwardness. <laughs> that will serve as our musical intro today, just us rambling without running. Uh, and now, here we are. 